Well, um, first, firstly, yes, absolutely. Um, both on a very simple, uh, ideal level, uh, on a kind of moral and ethical level, but also on a, on a practical level in that we, for the last few generations, we had something, in the UK at least, we had something very similar to this. Uh, we had a, an excellent uh, university system that was free, uh, literally free, paid for through through tax, um, students would receive grants and so on, and an entire generation of working class people um, managed to uh, become educated and uh, improve their lives and so on. Um, this happened in a time when we were far poorer than we are now, and yet it was done, and it was done well. Um, and even now, uh, the British university system, although it's been under attack for uh, well over a decade in terms of um, neoliberal modernisation, is still amongst the best in the world. Um, and yet now it's being um, attacked in a way that it's never been attacked before. Uh, the, our, the government we have now are basically selling off the universities, uh, allowing competitors to come in from all over the world, especially the US, where they have um, sort of massive, low-level, profit-making universities. Uh, they're burdening an entire generation of students with massive debts that they wouldn't have had previously. Um, and they're also making the life of the, the academics uh, uh, much um, harder and, and an almost impossible uh, role. And um, it must it must be resisted, and it is being resisted. And um, absolutely, I, I, I support all all attempts to resist this move. Yeah, well, Olympics are interesting. Um, because on the one level, uh, before you think about the kind of urban level, um, they offer the host nation to present a kind of um, a, a spatial expression of, of, a, of a kind of, uh, you might call it a brand uh, identity or a, an ideological position or, 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 or something similar, um, where they speak to the world and they create object, spatial objects that represent some kind of values that they have about their society. So it operates like that on one level. And then on other levels it can be a mixed uh, affair. Some, some Olympics are known for being very helpful to their cities. Uh, a good example would be Barcelona 1992, where uh, the government invested heavily in infrastructure and um, the general consensus is that it did improve uh, the prospects of the city. Uh, in London's case, um, coming as it does within a p very particular kind of British kind of capitalism, uh, it took it's taking place in an area, a very large area that was very poor, um, and there has been massive public spending upon the Olympics, but only up to a certain point. So the Olympics has been used as a, a basically a regeneration catalyst whereby they build the stadia, they build the, they create the parks, but they also sell off large areas of land to private developers in order to create new neighbourhoods and so on. What this is all doing is uh, vastly accelerating the increase in housing prices that was already happening in that area due to artists moving in and, and kind of creative gentrification as it's described. The Olympics has massively accelerated that process. House prices have gone up. The new neighbourhoods that are being built are completely out of the reach of the people who were living there. And in fact, uh, in, the, in the areas around the Olympics, there is massive foreign investment in property as well, uh, coming in from China and India and various places. And so, uh, people who have been living in these neighbourhoods are being are being pushed out further and further. Um, the Olympics in general is is uh, sort of tied to massive commercial um, development as well. There's uh, one of the main 
things that even allowed the Olympics to take place in London was the creation of a, a, a mega mall called um, called the Westfield, and, and so it's it's a very kind of in a very British way, it's a very cynical, uh, essentially a gift to uh, private developers and investors uh, from the government in the shape of a spectacle. Um, disregarding whatever branding of the UK it might have, uh, or what effect of branding the UK it might have uh, worldwide, basically. Absolutely, but it's also a, it is a very good investment, otherwise you wouldn't see it happening, well, you do see it happening an awful lot, so you know that there is a belief that it is a good investment, but at the same time, the investment in spectacles, whether they be events like the Olympics or whether they be objects such as public art investment or um, cultural buildings and, and, and so on and so forth, still rests on a kind of, on an, a certain level of faith. Uh, the, the, the quantifiability of kind of regeneration uh, increase in value is, 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 is very difficult and it requires a, a determined uh, belief that it will work. And in the UK, um, you, in, in terms of uh, the building of housing uh, in the last uh, decade or so, there was a lot of uh, investment in cultural objects, cultural events as parts of uh, regeneration practice. This, uh, in a way, acted as a kind of uh, confidence boost for investment and so on. Whether or not it worked, you'd be very you'd, it'd be very difficult to prove, and they'd be very it's very difficult for them to uh, quantify what value they received out of it. But it, but it certainly um, was. Um, Definitely invested in on many levels by by those who are uh, looking to um, uh, say cr uh, build housing for uh, build private housing or uh, regenerate neighbourhoods and, and so on and so forth. Right up to of course things like the Olympics, which are on the level of the of the state as a whole and so on. So it's a kind of. Uh, it works in two ways because it's, it's surprisingly unquantifiable for something so profit oriented but at the same time uh, it's something that is seen as necessary and has been done an awful lot uh, for whatever whenever whether or not it's a, it's been a positive thing in in cities which frequently it hasn't um, often it's completely superfluous and if not damaging to uh, a local area